Welcome you all in, for the another edition of Depression Dealing on Women's Depression in Women. As this is the third part of depression, let us try to learn something more about uh, things that which is happening in the lives of women. Let us look to God in prayer. Father, we thank you, we praise you, and we honor you. We want to thank you for the lives of women that you have created in such a unique way, Father, as we come together to learn something. Lord, we pray that, Father, you will grant us a wisdom in understanding. As we are human, Father, there are times that we are so much ignorant of even though our surroundings, things are going on, we tend to ignore them. But Lord, let this be an eye-opener and help us to learn more and help us to understand the life of a woman, Lord. Help us together. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As I have said that we will be discussing on depression on women's life. Depression can impact in every areas of women's life, including physical, health, a social life, relationship, career, and sense of self-worthness, and is complicated by factors such as reproductive hormones, social pressures, and the unique of female response to stress. However, it is important to know that you are not alone. Women are about twice as likely as men to suffer from depression. But depression is treatable and there are plenty of things which you, you and I can make sure to take care of ourselves better. Depression is that feeling requires uh, action. But taking action when you and I are depressed is difficult. However, while you and I may not have much energy, you and I probably have enough to take a short work, walk around the block or pick up the phones to call a loved one. For example, like that uh, can be a great start for boosting our mood and improve our outlook. It is important to also learn about the factors that causes depression in women so you and I can tackle the condition ahead treat our depressions most effectively and help prevent it from coming back. Let us understand what are the things that makes women in depression. As I have already said, women are likely uh, as women are nearly twi twice as likely as men to diagnose with depression. Depression can occur at any ages. Some mood change and depressed feeling occurs with normal hormonal changes. But hormone, hormonal changes um, alone don't cause depression. Other biological factors inherit our traits and personal life circumstances and experience are also associated with a higher risk of depression. Being sad is normal reaction uh, to difficult times in life, but usually the sadness goes away with a little time. Depression is dif different. It is mood disorder that may cause severe symptoms that can affect how you feel, think, and handle daily activities such as sleeping, eating, or working, etc. Depression is more common among women than men likely due to other uh, biological, hormonal, and social factors that are unique to women. Let us uh, see some points. Puberty. Hormones change during puberty may increase some girls' risk developing depression. However, temporary uh, mood swings related to a uh, fluctuating hormones during puberty are normal. This change alone don't cause depression. Puberty is often associated with other experiences that can play a role in depression such as emerging sexuality and identity issues, conflict with parents, increased pressure to achieve in schools, sports, or other areas of life. But puberty uh, depression rates are higher in females than in males. Because women typically uh, reach uh, uh, puberty before boys do. 
they are more likely to develop depression at an early age than boys are. There is evidence to suggest that this depression gender gaps may continue throughout the lifespan. Let us also see this another point, premenstrual problem. Hormonal fluctuation during the menstrual circle can cause uh, uh, familiar symptoms of premenstrual syndrome, PMS, such as abdominal uh, bloating, breast tenderness, headache, anxiety, irritability, fatigue, and emotional reactivity. Experiencing the blues are minors, minor and short-lived. But a small number of females have severe and disciplining uh, symptoms that disturb their studies, jobs, relationships, or other areas of their lives. At that point, PMS crossed the line into premenstrual um, diaphoric disorder, which is known as PMDD, a type of depression that generally requires treatment. Once again, I repeat. PMDD, a type of depression that generally requires treatment. The exact interaction between depression and PMS remain unclear. It's possible that uh, clinical changes in estrogen, prostrogen, and other hormones can uh, disrupt the functions of brain chemicals such as serodium that controls mood. Inherit traits, life experience, and other factors appear to play a role. For some women, symptoms are severe and disabling and may warrant a diagnosis of premenstrual um, diaphoric disorder, PMDD, is characterized by several uh, depression, irritability, irritability, and other mood disturbance beginning about 10 to 14 days before our periods and improving within a few days of its start. Another factor is uh, pregnancy and infertility. Dramatic hormonal change occur during pregnancy and this can affect moods. The mm, many hormonal change that occurs during pregnancy can contribute to depression, particularly in women already at high risk. Other issues, issues also may increase the risk of developing depression during pregnancy or during attempt to become pregnant, such as lifestyle or work change or other life uh, stressors, relationship problems, previous episode of depressions, postpartum depression or PMDD, lack of social support, unintended or unwanted pregnancy, miscarriage, infertility, stopping, stop using of antidepressant uh, medication. Another factor is postpartum depression. Some new, uh, many new mothers find themselves sad and angry and irritable and experience crying spells soon after giving birth. This feeling, sometimes called the baby blues, are normal and generally subside within a week or two. However, some women experience severe lasting depression. This condition is called postpartum depression and is thought to be influenced at least in part by hormonal fluctuation signs and symptoms which includes crying more often than usual, Low esteem or feeling like you are a bad mom, anxiety or feeling numb, trouble sleeping or even when your baby is sleeping, problem with daily functioning, uh, inability to care for your baby, thoughts of harming your baby, thoughts of suicide, and PPD is a serious medical condition requiring prompt uh, treatment. It, uh, it occurs in about 10 to 15 percent of women. It also thought to be associated with major uh, hormonal fluctuation that influence mood. The responsibility of caring of a new baby, a predisposition to mood and anxiety disorder, pregnancy and birth complications, breastfeeding problems, in fact, infant complication or special needs, poor social uh, support. 
Let us also know another factor that is peri uh, perimenopause or menopause. Risk of depression may increase during the transition of menopause, a stage called perimenopause, where hormones level are fluctuate erratically. Women with past history of depression are at risk higher uh, uh, at is at increase of risk of depression during the menopause as well. Depression risk may also rise early menopause or after menopause. Both times where estrogen levels are significantly reduced. Most women who experience broad some menop uh, mon uh, menopausal symptoms don't develop dep uh, depression. But this factor may risk increase the risk of like interrupted or, or poor sleep, anxiety or a history of depression, stressful life events, weight gain, a higher body mass uh, index, BMI, menopause at young, younger age, menopause caused by surgical remover of, removal of the ovaries. The female psychological response to stress, women produce more stress hormones than men, and female sex hormones, progesterone, prevent the stress hormones system from turning itself off as it in men. This can make women more sus sus uh, susceptibility to develop depression triggers by stress. Body image issue, which increase in girls during the sexual develop development of pituitary, contributes to de depression in adolescents. Thyroid problem. Since hypothyroidism can cause a depression, this medical problem should always be ruled out by the physician. Medication side effects from birth control medications or hormones replacement therapy. Health problem, chronic illness, injuries, disabilities can lead to depression in women. Other conditions that occur with depressions like um, other mental uh, health condition that needs treatment as well as like anxiety, Anxiety commonly occurs along with depression in women. Eating disorder, there is a strong link between depression in women and eating disorder, such as anorexia and bulimia. Consuming of um, drugs, tobacco, and alcohol misuse. Some women with depression also have some forms of unhealthy substance, uses of uh, use or dependence. Substance misuse can worsen depression and it makes harder for treatment. So it is advisable uh, not to use all this substance. Let us also see some of the signs and symptoms of depression in women. The symptoms of depression in women vary from mild to severe. Let us uh, see some, some of it. Loneliness and isolation or lack of social uh, support. Family history of a depression, early childhood trauma or abuse, alcohol, tobacco, or drugs, and sexual abuse, marital or relationship problems, balancing the pressures of career and home life, family responsibilities such as caring of, wife, of, of children, spouse, and aging parents, experiencing uh, discrimination at work or not reaching in, uh, important goal or losing or changing a job, retirements or embarking on military service, persistent money problems, death of loved ones or other stressful life even that leaves you feeling useless, helpless, alone or profoundly sad. Feeling of helplessness and hopelessness you feel as if nothing will ever get better and there is nothing you can do to improve your situation. You don't care anymore about your hobbies, former hobbies, pastimes and social activities you used to enjoy before. Appetite uh, change often leading to insignificant weight loss or weight gain. Changes in sleep pattern uh, feeling angry, irritate, uh, agitated, and restless, feeling fatigued, sluggish, and drained of energy, trouble concentrating in making decisions or remembering things, 
increase in aches of pains, including headaches, cramps, and breast tenderness or bloating, and sometimes thinking of suicidal thoughts. Women also tend to experience certain depression symptoms more often than men. This includes like depression in women, like seasonal affective uh, disorder, or due to um, low level of sunlight, symptoms of aty atypical depression, uh, whether, where rather than sleeping less, eating less, and losing weight. You experience the opposite, sleeping excessively, eating more, especially refined carbohydrates, and gaining weight. Strong feelings of guilt and worthlessness. Harshly criticize oneself for per perceived fault and mistakes. It is important to remember that depression at any stage of life and for any reason is serious and should be taken uh, seriously just because you have been told that your symptoms are normal part of being a woman doesn't mean that you have to suffer in silence there are many things you can do to treat your depression feeling better women's depression also causes because of life circumstances and culture the higher rate of depression in women isn't due to biological alone Life circumstances and cultural stresses can play a role too. Although these uh, stresses also occur in men, it usually at a lower rate. Factors that may lead increase the uh, uh, risk of depression in women uh, includes unequal power and status. Women are more likely than women to live in poverty causing uh, concerns such as uncertainty about the future and decreased access to community and healthcare resources. These issues can feel, cause feeling of negativity or low self-esteem and lack of control over life. Work overloaded. Often women work outside the house and still handle home responsibilities. Many women deal with the challenges of single parenthood, such as working multiple jobs to make uh, and meet. Also, women may be caring for the children and also caring for sick or older family members. Sexual or physical abuses. Women who were emotionally, physically, and sexually abused as children or adults are more likely to experience depression at some point in their lives than those who were in abuse. Women are more likely than women to experience a sexual abuses. Depression can literally hurt oneself. Sadness is also a small part of depression. Some people with a depression do not feel sadness at all. A person with depression also may experience some physical symptoms such as um, aches or pain, headache, cramps, or digestive problems. Someone with depression may also uh, trouble with sleeping, uh, sleeping, wake up early in the morning and feel tired. If you have been experiencing any of these following symptoms, for at least two weeks, you may be suffering from depression like persistent sadness, anxious or empty mood, feeling of hopelessness or pessimism, irritability, feeling of guilty, wordlessness or helpless, a decreased energy or fatigue, difficulty sleeping or early morning waking or oversleeping, loss of interest, of pleasure in hobbies and activities, moving or talking more slowly, feeling restlessness of, or having trouble sitting still, difficult concentrating like remembering or making decisions or change in appetite or weight, thought of date or uh, suicide or suicide attempt, aches or pains, headache, uh, cramps or digestive problems without any clear physical causes that do not, even, uh, do not cease even with treatment. Talk to your health care provider about the symptoms or be honest, clear and conscious. Your doctor needs to know how you feel. Your family health provider can ask 
when your symptoms started, what day, what time of the day that happened, how long they last, how often they occur, if they seem to be getting worse or better, and if they keep you from going out or doing your usual activities, it may help to take a time to make some notes about your symptoms before visiting your provider. Depression can be treated. The positivity things that which we understand and what which we are confident enough is that depression can be treated. Even the most severe cases of depression can be treated. Depression is commonly treated with medication, psychotherapy, or what we also call like a talk therapy or a combination of two. Antidepressants are medicines, medication commonly used to treat depression. People respond differently to antidepressant and you may need to uh, try different medicines to find one that works best. Researchers also are studying and developing other medications and uh, medications for depression such as Brono bosono like for post uh, postpartum depression and extitamine there are many different types of psychotherapy such as cognitive uh, behavior uh, therapy or interpersonal therapy the particular approaches of um, therapies used depend on the condition being treated and the training and experience of the therapies therapies also uh, may combine and adapt elements of different approaches. Depression affect each individual differently. There is no one size fit all for treatment. It may take some trials and errors to find the treatment at work best. You can learn more about the different type of depression treatment, including psychotherapy, medications, and brain stimulations or therapies. Most People with depression need treatment to feel better. If you think you, you may have depression, start by making an appointment to see your doctor or a healthcare provider. This could be your primary doctor or health provider who specializes in diagnosing and uh, treating mal, uh, uh, mental health conditions, for example, like psychologists or psych uh, psychiatrists. Certain uh, medications and some medical conditions such as viruses or a uh, thyroid disorder can cause the same symptoms or depression. Although depression may seem overwhelming, uh, their effective treatment, even severe depression often can be success, uh, successfully treated. Seek help if you have any sign and symptoms of depression like ongoing feeling of sadness, guilt, or hopelessness, loss of interest in things that you have once enjoyed, significant changes in your sleep pattern such as trouble, falling or staying awake or staying asleep or sleeping too much, fatigue or unexplained pain or other physical symptoms without any apparent causes, a problem concentrating or remembering things, change in appetites leading to significant weight loss and gain weight physical aches and pains, feeling uh, as though life isn't worth living, or having thoughts of suicide. A healthcare provider can rule out these possibilities by doing a physical examination, interviews, and lab tests. Your healthcare provider, uh, like your family doctors or nurse or gynecologist, uh, will examine you and talk to you about the treatment options and uh, next steps. If you needed your primary uh, care provider can refer you to the mental health professionals which who are specialized in diagnosing and treating depression. Remember depression is both and uh, both common and treatable. If you think you are depressed do not hesitate to seek help. Communicating well with your health uh, provider can improve your care and help you both make good choice about your health. Let us also consider something when we are uh, looking or looking for therapies. Therapist and patient work together. Finding a good match is important. 
The following tips can help you find the right therapist. Ask about their areas of expertise. Therapists have different professional backgrounds and specialty. If you want to find a therapist who has experience working with your specific condition, find out what kind of treatment they use. Ask if these treatments are effective for dealing with your particular mental health problems or issues. Find out how you will evaluate uh, progress. Determine how long treatment is expected to last. And you should also expect gain or relief symptoms and improve your quality of life. Do not be afraid to keep looking. Rapport and trust are essential. Discussion, discussion in therapy are deeply personal. And it's important that you can uh, you feel comfortable with the therapist you pick. Let us also learn or here are some basic tools uh, where we can deal uh, our depression when uh, we come across depression. Let us uh, spend some time in nature. Let us also do something about ourselves read good books or let us watch some movies or funny movies which make us laugh and help us you know change our mood along a hot bath is also suggested take care of few ta tasks which we usually do uh, people some people like uh, taking care or playing with the pets and some people like to talk to friend face to face some like to um, listen to music and some some do something spontaneous let us also not forget that let us also aim for eight hours of sleep eating healthy because eating healthy healthy can also fight depression you know like cutting a bag of salt unhealthy fats caffeine as sugar contains crabs and alcohol tobacco and substance uses can you know help overcome depression let us also not forget to do exercises because exercises is something you can do right now to boost your mood challenging our negative thoughts and let us not forget that sunlight to get a dose of sunlight because sunlight can boost our uh, serotonin level and improve our mood aims for at least 15 minutes of sunlight a day uh, remove sunglasses and let us uh, let us never steer um, directly at the sun and use sunscreen if it is needed. Medication. Let us also understand that antidepressant medicines may help relieve some symptoms of depression in women, but it won't cure the underlying problems because female biological uh, differences. Women are generally start uh, starter a low dose of antidepressant than women. Women are also more likely to experience side effects, so any medication uh, should be closely monitored. Uh, don't rely on the doctors who are not trained in mental health um, or guidance on, medic on medications. And remember that medication work best when you make healthy lifestyle change as well. So, as we have learned that depression can be uh, Treat, treat it. Let us always look forward for a positive change in our life. And depression can ha happen in any um, stages of our life. Let us always have positive uh, motive and let us always challenge the negative things that is going in and around us. And I do request our young men and brothers, if you are married and your wife is having this kind of problems, do take care of her. And as a woman, let us also understand that the changes that is happening in one's body so that we can also help ourselves and then take care of ourselves. Let us look to God in prayer. Thank you, Lord, for the educative uh, awareness that which we have learned. We pray that, Father God, as we have learned, help us to make aware of ourselves and learn things and pick up things to uh, take care of our well-being, Lord. Thank you so much for this time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us meet for the, uh, the last session, Blessing on a Biblical. Till then, I wish you all the best. Take care and then good luck. God bless you all.